So before there were board games for unfiltered gamer, there were card games, and we here played quite a lot of card games in the past, since I was in grade school all the way to even now. Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! were card games that I played quite frequently, and Magic the Gathering I still play quite a bit of. Other games like L-O-T, L-O-5-R, Warlord, uh, even a brief stint with Naro Naruto, and even the Harry Potter card game, I have been a fan of card games. And so, when Bullseye Toys and Exceed Marketing said that they wanted to send me some Modern Horizons packs and a Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle of Legend Heroes Revenge packs to unbox for you guys. I said yes. Shockingly, right? Now, I uh, have really, really enjoyed my time with these games, and I'm excited to add these to my collection as well. And uh, I'm going to take this down below with you guys right now and show you what I think about the different cards and whatnot. I'm not a foremost professional knowledge on Magic the Gathering, but I do have quite a few cards in my collection, and I think that uh, I can give you a brief understanding of some of the cards you can get in this set and whether or not you might want to pick these sets up or not. Anyway, let's go ahead and take it down below, and I'll show you what we got. So here we have what they sent me. I've got three packs of Konami's Yu-Gi-Oh! Battles of Legend and Heroes Revenge. And then I've got Modern Masters, which is a three booster draft pack here. And then, of course, three 15 card booster packs. I went ahead and opened one real quick because I was so excited. I want to make sure that these were completely legit and excellent magic, and they are. Uh, and I pulled this guy here, which is a Lightning Skelemental. And uh, it's got Trample Haste. It's a 6-1. It costs 3. But it, when it hits a player, they lose 2 cards from their hand, which is good. But it goes away. It's like a lot of the other Elementals. A lot of, a lot of uh, strength or uh, toughness and very low health. But it doesn't matter because they disappear anyway. And then we got some uncommons here. A Lancer Sliver, which is really cool that they brought Slivers back. And Return from Extinction. Crosian Tusker icebergs. Some of these are really, really great artwork. The cards are a lot better quality than the last time I bought a pack. Some of the lands were like, they, they bent a little bit, so that's nice that the, I think the card quality has improved. There's a token. There's whatever this is, too. They sent, they, they come in the pack. It looks like a Modern Horizons art series, 9 out of 54. It's kind of cool. I wonder if it comes in every single pack. I don't know, because I haven't really invested a whole lot of uh, money into Magic the Gathering lately. Here's a flying squid. That's pretty sweet. It's a squid illusion. <laughs> Four for a 1-2 flyer. Hmm. Whenever you draw a card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, it's actually not so bad. It's kind of cool, actually. So let's go ahead and open some other packs now. I think we'll start with uh, the Modern Master stuff here, and we'll pop this open. I actually don't know how to open these up. Wow, I wonder why these, there's like little tabs here. What's the deal with that? I don't know. So let's go ahead and just pop this guy open like this, I guess. Come on, you. And here we go. Modern Horizons. Not Modern Masters, which I'm guessing is a lot different. I think the Modern Masters set are a lot of old reprints and expensive cards. This looks like a new set here. Soldier. Okay, so all the art prints do come in, each one of them. This one here is 40 out of 54. That one actually looks really cool. It looks like slivers. Mirrodin Besieged. Really cool. Land card, and we got an Ice Fang Kotal. That's weird that it's the rare in front. It used to be in the back, there'd be three uncommons, and then there'd be a rare. So it's kind of weird that there's a rare up in front, and then you got the three uncommons, and then a bunch of the commons here. What does this guy do? Let's see. This is a two, it's two for a 1-1 one, one flying with flash. That's pretty good. Um, when Ice Fang Kotal enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. Okay, I'm, I'm liking it so far. And when... It has Death Touch, as long as you control at least three other Snow Permanents. Okay, so if you have Snow Covered Land, it has Death Touch. So it's a 1-1 one, one Death Touch for two Flash Flying, and you get to draw a card with it. That's pretty cool. That is actually really cool. I like that. Mm, Land War Tribe, a three. That, uh, it's like Land War Elves, but a little stronger. I like that. Really good at producing uh, mana and our currency. Hideaway, that's nice. I haven't seen that in a while. Some really cool artwork here. What is that? Cave of Temptation. I like it. I like it. Any other slivers? Nope, no slivers. Okay, cool. Luck, liking it. Let's let's open up another one of these. I don't, I don't. You would think I'd figure out the best way to open these by now, but maybe not. I'm destroying these things here. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go from the back, I guess, forward. I mean, somebody in the comments is gonna be like, Michael, you should realize that the rares were always in the front. Uh, answered prayers, reckless charge, phantom ninja, spore frog. I know that. That is an old card. That's super cool. I like that. It's uh, target player sacks a creature, diabolical edict. That's uh, also a reprint. Uh, Elvish fury. That's a amorphous axe. Two makes it a 
three, zero, and every creature type. Okay, that's kind of cool. And the Shelter, it's an older one as well. So there are a lot of reprints in here that I'm seeing. Baron Moore is another one reprinted. A Scuttling Sliver, ooh, two to untap. Ooh, Slivers get untapped, that's nice. Uh, Archmage's Charm, choose one. Counter a spell for three, so it's a little more expensive than a counter spell, but it gives you options. Target player draws two cards, gain control of a target non-land permanent with converted mana cost one or less. Huh. Three for draw two, three to counter. It's pretty nice utility, just a little more expensive than I'd probably like. Wow, that's cool. What do I get there? That's a foil rare, and it's a legendary creature avatar. It's Hagok Arisen Necropolis. Okay, nothing on the back. Now you can't spend mana to cast this spell. Interesting. Convoke, delve. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's color. And each card you exile from your graveyard pays for it. So basically you can de you can delve. Uh, discarding a bunch of creatures from your graveyard, paying for this cost, which is seven, so you need to discard at least seven creatures, one black and at least one green, or two black and two green. And you may cast him from your graveyard. And it has trample. Wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder if he's used. I know they have those uh, delve decks, or dredge decks? Delve, it's a little different. Oh, uh, snow-covered forest, I like that, nice reprint. And then another beautiful piece of artwork here, okay. So let's put this back. Uh, another goblin token. Cool. He raged at the world, but mainly he just raged. All right. This is, oof, we got a big one here. I haven't seen one of these before. Three booster draft packs. So you can basically just buy three packs for whenever you want a booster draft at home. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not going according to plan. This is not. Here, you can go ahead and do it. Camera woman. Yeah, there we go. That's what happens when you have nails. All right, boom, boom. I guess I won't be drafting with this, although I kind of want to draft with this now. Maybe I'll do a draft at some point. It's been a long time. All right, here we go. Yeah, an elemental, shiny. Okay, let's go from the back again. We got a sliver, nice, nice. I don't have this one either. I don't have any of these slivers. They're all, they all must be new. That's cool. Uh, the fairy seer, hmm, trustworthy scout, an apocalypse. Rhyme Tender, a Witch, another Axe again, Reign of Revelation, <laughs> Shenanigans, that's a pretty cool name, uh, Destroy an Artifact for two, pretty normal, with a Dredge, that's cool, I like that, Savage Swipe, target creature is plus two plus two, until end of turn its power is two, then it fights, okay, so it's two and two and fight, that's pretty sweet, okay, I like that for one, it's a sorcery though, not an instant, but that makes sense, uh, another Sliver, Tempered Sliver, I, I hope I get one of the rare Slivers actually, that'd be cool. A scuttling sliver. Oh, I got two uncommon slivers. The untap one, and then this one here is when it was the amateur creature. Get plus one, plus one. Come on! Genesis! Oh, wow! They reprinted this as well. This is cool. In the beginning of your upkeep, if he's in your graveyard, you may pay two, pay three, and if you do, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So you want him in the graveyard because he's going to benefit you greatly if he is. Another snow-covered land. This looks like uh, Captain uh, Sisse. Yes. Okay, I was right. Captain Sisse from the Weatherlight. That's cool. I like Gerard Capuchin. He's my favorite Magic the Gathering character, but I don't think they're going to remake him because I think he's dead, which which sucks. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I think he's part of Karn or something. I don't know. I don't remember the story very well. Yeah. All right. Let's look at some other stuff. Fists of Flame. Scour of Possibilities. What's this one do? Scry 2. Draw a card. Flashback. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Flashback's expensive, though. Buyback. 1. Create a 1-1 one, one soldier. Eh, it's not too bad. Instant? It is. Okay. Some more creatures, a changeling, one, one for one. It can't block or be blocked. Actually, that's pretty cool. A putrid goblin. Let's see if we can see what the uncommons are. What do we got here? This one is a zombie wizard. Whenever he enters, oh, whenever he dies or some other zombie dies, you get to draw a card and lose a life. Okay, he's kind of like, he's, he's, a, he's a smaller bob, sort of. What's this, a decoy? happening a creature activate this ability only if you have a creature and the battlefield under your control that's pretty cool uh, shattered assumptions choose one another one of those choose one cards opponent reveals their hand discards all colorless non-land cards or target opponent reveals their hand and discards all multicolored cards wow that's pretty cool actually i don't know if you'll see play but it's kind of cool 
Aria of Flame. Three, it's an enchantment. It enters the battlefield. Each opponent gains 10 life. Okay, what does it do then? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a verse counter on this card. Then it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters on it to target player or planeswalker. Uh, that is interesting, I guess. Very interesting. I don't know if I like that. There's probably some combos for it, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't ultimately dig that, that card. And then we got, this is a sort of fire and ice. Sort of truth and justice. I was wrong. It looks like red and blue, but okay, I guess I'm wrong. And we got an illusion. Cool. Last pack, last pack. This is where we pulled the uh, sliver I want. I mean, there is that planeswalker that's worth like 70 bucks, but I I never assume I'm going to get those kind of cards. I, I, don't, I don't usually buy packs. Uh, I hide. A lot of these things we've seen before. Thornado. It's like Sharknado, but with thorns. Destroy target creature with flying, and you can cycle it for two. That's actually not so bad. Uh, choose one. A lot of these choose ones in here. Stream of thought. There we go. There's a cleaving sliver. I don't have that. Creature slivers, slivers you control get plus two plus zero. I like that. Another tempered sliver. Yeah, lava bellied sliver. I got another one. This one says when it, whenever this creature enters the battlefield, it deals one deals one damage to a player or a planeswalker, and you gain a life. Oh, that's cool. Wall of blossoms. That's an old one. Whenever it's whenever it enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. It's two for a zero four defender. That's actually pretty cool. And then my sliver. Come on, ma. nope, nope, nope. Deep forest hermit. Five for a vanishing three one one. Vanishing. This creature enters the battlefield with three time counters on it. The beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from it. And when the last one is removed, you sacrifice this card. Five for a one one. When it enters the battlefield, create four one one squirrel tokens. Oh, that's cool. And squirrels, you control get plus one plus one. Okay, so you get to play him plus four other squirrels that are both all two twos, and they're all two twos until he dies. But you still get to keep the squirrels. I, I mean, you could flash this, I guess, which is kind of cool. There's, I don't know what the deck this would be in squirrel deck. <laughs> Planes. That is a Mastodon. Mastacore. That's what that is. Um, still pretty well versed, I guess. But yeah, there's all the Magic the Gathering cards. Pretty cool. Nothing super, super exciting, but the cards are nice quality. I like the fact that they're adding the art prints in here. All the artwork is still amazing. They still remind me of back in the day when I was I played a whole bunch. I still play on the occasion, but it's usually it's a lot of commander. And the card quality is nice. It's a little thinner, I think, than it used to be. I wonder if it still bends. You guys can tell me in the comment section if it does, but I really like this game. I like the quality of the game. All the artwork is really good. They do a good job of Magic the Gathering. All right, Battles of Legend, Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, this is a game I do not play all that often anymore. I actually lost my deck that was rather uh, costly when I was a young child. Well, I was like four, 13 or something. And uh, when I lost it, my well, my mom threw it away in the car on accident. And that was like my most expensive thing ever. So after that, I was just like, you know what? I'm done with this game. It made me very sad. But I still have all my cards. And I still play on the very rare occasion. Wow, that like opened up like nothing. It's very... Okay, what do we got? Well, it is a foil secret rare. What the heck is all this? What? Okay, so what the heck is Battles of Legend? Because that just I just got a boatload of these cards. I'm going to open up another one just to see what this is like, because I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in forever, and for all I know, these cards are, like, useless. Or I just, like, really... Okay, let's see on the back here. It says, Battles uh, of Legend Heroes Revenge is here. This 93-card all-foil booster set is packed with never-before-released cards from previous Yu-Gi-Oh! manga and anime series coming to the Yu-Gi-Oh! training card game for the first time, including Link Monsters, High Power Tournament, Rain Stays, and more. Okay, so these are... These are our all-foils. That's super cool. Even though the pack is, like, super... like, low quality. I'm, like, afraid I'm gonna, like, rip this thing into pieces just by opening it. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Okay, what do we got? Come on, you. So I'm guessing all of these come with a secret rare then? Are these just like, let me see. Yeah, Star Dressed Miracle, Vision Hero Witch Raider, Battle, what is this? Battle Wasp, Azura the Ghost Bow, a Fortune Fairy End, that's cute. And then we got Guardian of Order. Okay, so we have actually two of these now. Four, so we got two Fortune Fairies, that's cool. And then these are all different. Got lucky here. 
I'll take a look at them after I open them all. But they look they look pretty pretty cool. I'm digging these. I wonder what these cost. I wonder if they're just foil just because, or if these packs are actually rather expensive. I don't know. I'm gonna look this up afterwards and see. Maybe I'll do an edit and let you guys know. I'm just uh, maybe I thought these packs always been like paper. Woo! Salamangrate um, Almira. I don't know what that is. Herald of the Arclight. This is a Predopast. And we got Vision Release. And then number six, Dugaris the Timeless. Okay, so in this game, I know that four stars can basically come on the field. And anything that is over four star usually has to be special summoned, or you have to sacrifice monsters in order to bring them onto the field. These cards over here are magical cards. And uh, the purple one is a trap card. And then you have these new ones here, which I'm not super versed in. And you got these two here, which are also different. This is called a Link card. And this one here is called a fiend card with an xyz effect on it i think um so let's look at some of the ones i do know trap card this one if you control a level eight or higher dragon synchro monster what does it do special summon as many monsters as possible from your graveyard that were destroyed and sent to your graveyard this thing gy instead of graveyard that's weird uh, by battle or an opponent's card effect this turn you can only activate one stardust mirage per turn Okay, that's cool. Nice, nice easy, easy way to special summon. These fairies here, what's, what do these say? These say, when you draw this card, you can reveal it. Special summon it from your hand. If this card is special summoned from the hand, you can target one set card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use this effect, effect of one fortune fairy uh, end per turn. So you, you drop this guy when you play it, and then you destroy any card that's set down on the field. Wow, that's, that's super cool. That beats a lot of the cards I used to have. Uh, when you draw this card, you can reveal it, special summon it from your hand. If the card is special summoned from your hand, you can target one of your opponent's banished spellcaster monsters and add it to your hand. You can only use this effect with this guy once. Wow, that, that's really cool as well. Really cool. If your opponent has two, if you control two or more light monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only control one guardian of order, and it is a 2500, 1200. Okay. What's the biggest one? I don't know. I think the biggest one is this one here. This guy's big. Vision Hero, Witch Raider. To tribute summon this card face up, you can tribute traps you control as well as monsters. When this card is normal summon, you can destroy all spells and traps your opponents control, and you cannot special summon monsters during the turn you activate this effect, except for hero monsters. So he's nice. He's like a fairy duster. Explodes everything around. A lot of cool cards here. The artwork's pretty cool. I'm not used to the whole, like, change of the font on the cards. I don't particularly like that. I don't know why they do that, but uh, the cards are about as the same quality as they used to be. They're rather always rather thin, but they have some really beautiful uh, foils attached to them. The artwork is, is rather splendid, and I, I this is really cool. Like Some of these cards are just really beautiful. This, this one here is super cool. The, the foils add a lot to it. It's interesting that the entire, uh, all the packs that I got here are all foils. I don't necessarily know why they chose to do that. Maybe it's just a limited set run. But some of these are super cool. I'll have to look them up. Anyway, these are all of the uh, things that they sent me to take a look at. I hope you guys had some fun looking at this stuff with me. Maybe some deja vu. Or maybe you guys know a lot about this and uh, know what I pulled more than I did. Now it's just quite possible. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and taking a look. If you guys are interested in any, other, any, any board game reviews, any giveaways on my website, or anything like that, you can go ahead and take a look down below in the description. It'll have everything you need. Thank you so much, Bullseye, for sending me some cool stuff. I will definitely be playing with this stuff, and I'll be tweeting out showing all the cards that I got on Instagram. Fun, fun. All right, guys. Have a good one.